In 2007, Platform for Language Teacher Education, PLATE, was founded with the aims to provide online academic and professional support to Chinese and English language education students, graduates, and teaching professionals. Now, it has extended to support mathematics education students. PLATE contains three network sites, Ad Hub, Literacy Corner, and Teaching Portfolios. EdHub consists of a collection of micro-modules, a resource bank, and a self-learning package. They provide input to nurture professional craft knowledge, academic study skills, and teaching resources. Teach to Learn and Learn to Teach is designed for all undergraduate and postgraduate students from English language, Chinese language, and mathematics education. It contains micro-modules which capture subject-specific knowledge and generic aspects of teaching in authentic classrooms. They serve as analytical tools for student teachers to realize their craft knowledge development in learning to teach. Each micro-module contains selected video clips of authentic classroom teaching in local schools, reflective questions for self-reflection and discussion, lesson plans and instructional materials, and recommended reading materials about the topic. These micro-modules have three special features. Some are edited short clips with time markers to capture the major concepts and to provide a micro-view of a teaching method. Some have extensive tagging with time markers to show a macro view of how the concepts are applied in a coherent full lesson. What color are they? Hey. Okay, this time Miss Chen wants to ask one group to answer my question. Hey. Some have adopted a blended approach and serve as input of knowledge for a flipped classroom. Logical content knowledge which is the framework to evaluate effective teaching that is not only limited to the knowledge of the subject matter, but also the rich repertoire of pedagogical skills of the teacher, which helps to impart knowledge accurately and effectively. These days, Resource Bank is made up of two sites, ETE.net and CTE.net. With the aims of promoting sharing of resources and exchange of practices, Comprehensive Electronic Resource Bank contains self-developed teaching and learning materials, online interactive exercises, creative works, and videos of exemplary teaching. Teaching portfolios consist of personalized teaching portfolios, which document the growth and development of pre-surface teachers throughout the five-year study. We compile a teaching practice portfolio for our two teaching practicums at primary and secondary schools. During the two blocks of eight-week teaching practicums, we upload lesson plans and materials developed by us. We share our work generously and discuss enthusiastically with members of COP. We also record two lessons and upload them at the beginning and at the end of the teaching practicum to track our development in implementation. I watched my lesson recording and reflected on my own teaching. I paid attention to my delivery skills and students' reception. I also watched the lesson recording from my peers. We discussed and shared about how we can improve our teaching skills and learning environment. We definitely learned a lot from the comments and responses from each other. 
During the teaching practicum, we constantly reflect on our goals, beliefs, teaching, and challenges encountered. I enjoy the process of writing reflection. The more reflective we are, the more effective we are. The highlight of Teaching Portfolio is the online community of practice. Members can comment on and respond to posts to give support and advice. We can always get feedback for our lesson plans and materials, recorded lessons and reflections. After reading the comments, I made some improvement on my plan and it turned out to be a successful lesson. I really enjoy interacting with different members in the community. I had difficulty at the beginning of my teaching practice. I was new to the school, colleagues and the students and I was new to the profession as well. Luckily, I got a lot of support from the members of the COP. I knew I was not alone. There is always someone to give me advice and offer support. The compilation of Teaching Portfolio helped these pre-service English teachers to develop a critical awareness of teaching. We began with writing the My Teaching Philosophy blog. The process of putting our beliefs about teaching into words meant that we had the opportunity to do some serious soul-searching on questions like what kind of teachers we wanted to be, and having those conversations early on informed the practicum later. Teaching portfolios are found to have a positive impact on the professional development of both the pre-surface teachers and the in-surface teachers who join the COP as mentors. When I was doing my studies in the UK, I wanted to look at the power of reflection, or more specifically, the relationship between reflectivity of pre-service teachers and the teaching performance. And so at that time, I gained access to plates, and I studied and analysed the, the journals and reflection written by one cohort of ELED. And afterwards, I tried to correlate the findings to the grades that they have got for the teaching practicum, and the result is surprising. It shows that the deeper that one reflects, the better that his or her grades are, thus implying a better teaching performance. As an in-service teacher and also the mentor of the plate, I guess um, this is a very good chance for me to help those kind of mentees in their professional training. Um, for instance, as an in-service teacher, we may have a lot of experiences in the real classroom. So it may be a good chance for me to comment on their suggested lesson plans and see whether they can be practical in the real classrooms. Plate provides a technology-based learning environment for the students in the education programs. Plate works in alignment with program objectives to nurture professional, reflective and effective teachers. Plate is to make a difference.